Hello everyone, welcome back. It is winner, uh, no, it's actually loser's finals time. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties there, so I'm gonna quickly adjust things. But, uh, we are here for the loser's finals between Noizzle and- No, uh, this is winner's finals! Um, that's correct, I had it right the whole time. Why did I ever note myself? Uh, and as you can tell, I'm here with Betty B. Betty, how the heck are ya? <laughs> I'm fantastic, I'm looking forward to this match. This is, uh, d the decider to see who I will face in the lo Losers Finals, so right. you are just one step ahead, as always, love. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. Uh, I'm gonna get the everyone starting, I think they've waited long enough to play. We've all waited long enough to see it, so let's, uh, let's get it on. Uh, this has been a crazy month, uh, this, this is one of the first Winter Finals we've had in a very long time that didn't include, uh, Snipe, who got eliminated early from this tournament, and that's, as much as I hate to see, uh, a Canadian fall, it means we're gonna ha have a new champion for 20 in 2024 this month, this year. Uh, but honestly, he fell to another Canadian, Luke. So Luke definitely in this match uh, against Noizel, uh, Noizel, and it's going to be a good one. Absolutely, they're both going to start off they're making uh, identical moves. Noizel a little further off, a little faster off the block there. And, uh, As she typically is, uh, seeing more pills right off the bat just lets her combo that much quicker. Yep, uh, they're both going pretty toe for toe combo wise. Uh, Garbage may be a little kinder to Luke here, but uh, yeah, so, so far both coming off at about the same pace. Uh, this has been an uh, incredible uh, play from Luke this this month. Just, be, just obviously defeating like the the reigning champion back to back to back to back, whatever it is at this point. <laughs> uh, that's uh, and and then. Uh, Going all the way to winners finals, uh, undefeated in against Perula in, in the uh, the winner semis. Now that was a really good matchup as well. Um, and so Luke actually keeping it even against uh, Noizel, who's one of our per people who gets into the finals and the semifinals on a regular basis. So um, keeping it close here. Yeah, it's going to be awesome to see what he can do. Going for some kind of setup here on the in the center. He's, Look at this! I'm getting a nice triple out of it. That's uh, it's pretty big brain from Luke here. I like I like these like just short drops from him into more tees into more combos. Like it, it, he has a setup wherever he's putting his pill, and it's. It's just amazing to watch on that end. On Noenzel's side, though, she is tearing at this board, uh, making these pills just drop at a very rapid pace. But oh, she doesn't have a lot of setups currently, though. No, but she finds a really big one on the left here and follows it up with another double in just a moment. Um, but uh, if she's not careful, Luke is going to get uh, to make a comeback here. But she finds, wow, what is this crazy underground setup she's got going on? Followed up into another cross. Look at, oh, wow, yes. But I think the garbage just uh, set off uh, Luke's setup there, <laughs> sending the garbage right back. Wow. Wow, just... I like that drop clear by uh, Noizel in order to just clear up the board a little bit on her side. Um, and Luke now working through nothing but trash, not really ha- But look at that drop clear into a T, into another clear horizontal. Uh, wonderful play by Luke. I wonder how much of that was foreseen, but it doesn't matter when it clears <laughs> that pretty. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I feel like both of these players are doing a really good job with uh, not just making combos at every turn, but also keeping in mind the progress that, that it makes on the board as well. Both are so important. You can't stop comboing, but uh, if you're just... You know, treading water at the top of the screen, it's, uh, you're gonna lose if your opponent is uh, able to make progress. Mm-hmm. Oh, look at that. Good, good job clear by Luke. And a return from, uh, Noizzle, sending some trash back. Now, I'm surpri kind of surprised she didn't just take the, um, off-kilter fat log, uh, in order to just have a quick combo, but she sees things way better than I do, so I don't question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is definitely starting to pull ahead now. Luke still has some combos left to fire off, but uh, his board is uh, held significantly uh, behind here. I see him setting up for a horizontal. He is going to have to build up to that in order to get it cleared, but that's exactly what uh, happens with the pills that he was given, and another mm. short uh, combo play 
in order to send more trash over to Noizel. I have a little bit of unfortunate garbage for Noizel, but it ends up uh, working out here. She ends up making a setup out of it pretty much right away. I like that clear uh, from Luke in order to take down um, and get these... Oh, look at that lineup for the yellows. This is going to be great for Luke if he gets what it, he needs. Oh, and no, it's going to be blocked. Oh, but it, but that's okay. That's another combo that he can oh. set up. If Oh, but that's <laughs> blocked. Jeez. Block after block. Noizel is not letting go of this game easy. This is oh. uh, just some incredible uh, garbage falls for Noizel. And this is what she just does, is like, it's it's always um, hard to get a pill in uh, with her playstyle. And and so what can you do when <laughs> you're stun-locked for half your, half your match? But um, that's one of her strengths, and she's putting it uh, to show here. Oh yeah, she's putting it to very good use. Although things have started to even up, as, uh, as they tend to do. Wow, just firing off a quick quick stack there with uh, four red oh, yellows in this. succession. She's gonna find another big setup here. I like the almost D sandwich by Luke in column one. Um, you can see he's trying to take both those reds at the same time because look wow. what's waiting after it is that that triple blue in order to clear that blue in column one. So he just is waiting for um, a, a little help here uh, with the doc to give him the pieces he needs. Yeah, it's just starting to get away from Luke. He really does need a, uh, a combo here. Here it is. But he gets it and he's just going to take this to bring down his entire left side. Um, but now he has a wall of trash to work through, but he's finding ways to do it in style with a huge T on the right. Oh, look at this! And another, it just... Luke is putting putting combos together that is just making trash something that's not trash. It's it's making beautiful combos and it's sending trash right back to Noizel. Yep, and suddenly he's ahead by six viruses, and going into mm -hmm. his endgame, everything is currently blocked, nothing exposed at the moment, but uh, mostly oh, there's a lot of opportunities here, I think. Yeah, and I, I'm surprised he keeps trying to cover up that um, that opportunity for horizontal blue um, instead of just using that <laughs> to clear, clear that blue in column eight. But um, again, you know, he's in the lead here. Definitely has a tower um, on Noah's side that she's trying to break through to get to the viruses underneath. Oh, look at the setup she has. Beautiful clear. I love it. Absolutely. Yeah, these, uh, these setups that he's going for here uh, are just uh, not only, again, big sending combos, but uh, they are uh, making progress on the board as well. Uh, I think part of the reason, you know, he was foregoing so many opportunities was just because the next combo was just in sight. Sometimes you get a little tumble finish thing like that, but as long as you're keeping the pressure on, it's hard to go too wrong when that's happening. Mm-hmm. Although now he has two viruses at the bottom remaining, and they are si seriously buried as Noizel is starting oh. to make the comeback, starting to stun lock and bring on pressure. Uh, and those viruses are so buried, it's hard to say that he's uh, look at this. gonna have the lead still after this. He is gonna send yeah. a triple back, uh, but those viruses are so deeply buried, it's gonna be a heck of an endgame for Luke here if he wants to take this. Yeah, but he's doing what he he needs to do in this case, and that's horizontal to get in between these these pill halves and start getting those three setups. We always talk about you know having three of a kind is is great in verses, and um, Luke is trying to do that by breaking down with some horizontals. Well, you know what they say: every clear four starts with a three. So yeah, it's definitely <laughs> something to look out for. Is that what they say? Yeah, that's what they say. I didn't just make that up or anything. It's oh, okay. totally what they say. Anyway, uh, all of a sudden there's one virus left and it's looking wow. uh, not as uh, not as covered as it could be. And now Noizel's at the top of the board fighting for her life. If she can find some setups here, she might be able to get this. She's going to send another... Oh, oh, he gets one more pill to unblock the, uh, the yellows on top. But uh, yeah... There's only a, a row of blue separating Luke from this virus, and more glue, blue garbage is going to fall on top or of it Or red in column uh, seven, so he has multiple ways out of this. And look at this! Oh, wow. Jeez. And another and again, combo to expose he's it. He's completely uncovered. Wow. 
and now he wow. just did an umbrella to block it and finishes off with the first crown. Noah is just bringing it right back in. She's she's ready and ready oh, to she's, go. She's been waiting to play for over an hour. She's not, she's not stopping for anything. She's <laughs> raring to go. Oh wow! I don't know. I think Noah Zell may have missed an opportunity in her opening here. And uh, if Luke uh, takes advantage of that, that could be an issue. That red garbage is going to be brutal to block this horizontal. Almost gets it uncovered, and the blue blocks it again. And the red blocks it again. This is she has a, maybe a horizontal opportunity to clear this blue away. Uh, I'm not, not sure how she's. It. Well, she's not going for it. But she has to do something about this fourth column. She's going to just chop it down horizontally by one row. Uh, and maybe try to find it. There we go. Now she's trying to set up a T. The blues are not coming. Okay, there luckily we go. this That's garbage exactly does not what... clear it. But at what cost? But again, uh... blocked by that blue. <laughs> yes, unfortunately. But she did use the top of the board to her advantage and just um, making it to where she could clear it without the trash at the at the end. But at this point, Luke has kind of run away a little bit with it at, and uh, has the almost 11 virus lead. Absolutely, but honestly, any any uh, opportune garbage on Noizel's behalf will uh, will put her right back into this. She's really not as far behind as it looks just yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that that tea clear. Luke's starting to see some scary-looking garbage in column four, but he's gonna chop that right down with the setup as well. Now Noizel looking like she's at the top of the screen, but she tops it down with the setup. These two are just going back and forth. They're managing their risk at the top of the board so well. Noizel just not getting very good uh, drops, because, uh, you know, trash after trash that Luke is sending is just going in the spot that she wants it the least. And, um, but she's, she's staying oh, in no! there. I believe that was a misdrop on her part, and that's 2-0 for Luke. Luke is on the verge of eliminating a whistle. She needs to complete a reverse sweep here if she wants to make it back to grand, uh, make, or she wants to make it to the grand finals. Wow. Luke, uh, in in our uh, Discord, basically was asking, "How do I stay this good?" Uh, and and for Noah's Noizel, and he found the magic way. Uh, we'll have to ask him later how how he stayed warm for this match because he's definitely keeping it even and and winning them. Yeah, I think that's a question we all ask ourselves. But, uh, <laughs> I feel as though the answer eventually is that the the, the ravages of time will claim you. Uh, but for now, he's he's doing quite well. <laughs> Uh, and uh, he's in it. He is supposed to focus on the here and now, and uh, he's very close to uh, making a grand finals appearance here. Yeah, and uh, I, I could see a missed tuck opportunity from Noizel on her side, and it did cover up. Uh, she wanted those reds to, to get cleared. Um, but, oh, look at this. Perfect. Oh, she doesn't take it. I was expecting the uh, double reds to go under and clear a T in columns four and five, but did not take it. Nope, but now uh, Luke clearing out his center, and Noizel unable to find any combos to answer back. He is starting to pull ahead in his third game. A sweep against uh, Noizel is a, he a hefty feat, and if he does this, um, that is going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. I think I, I mean, even even despite his victory against Snipe earlier tonight, I still think I would consider that a huge upset. Um, yeah. Just, but it's been a night of upsets. I feel like in this entire bracket, this has been just one of many. We'll see if we see another one here. It's just, I do uh, like. It was, yeah, she's not like finding the... setups. She's just not having many opportunities here. She's chopping things down, but she's not sending any pressure back, and Luke is just running free. Well, and Luke is maneuvering his pill very well, even at the top of his board, so uh, that gives you just a lot of um, opportunity that people who, who can't maneuver that quickly don't get. So look at this setup from him, and the, the trash doesn't really hurt him too much, and it sets up for this clear. I mean, his board is so clear, it's going to take a lot of trash for things to start becoming a problem for him, and I think uh, Noizel really needs to focus on that if she wants to come back here and stay in, alive in this tournament. Well, she's, well, she's not we, facing elimination yet, but, and we know she can, <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah, she's, uh, she wants to avoid uh, loser's bracket. That's what it's going to take. She gets some really nice garbage in column 5 here. Always love to see uh, something to cap off a spire like that. Um, unfortunately, he will clear it away, though, and uh, although there's more garbage on the way, a huge quad Look now. Look at this! Wow! And she doesn't just send, you know, two pieces of garbage. She sends everything she has. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard. Whenever you see a, you get received garbage from Noizel, you can bet that the next one is coming. You're just waiting for the other shoe to drop at that point. Yep. And right now, she has brought this back to even. Yeah, 24 to 23, her board is definitely looking much cleaner. Um, we'll have to see if uh, Luke can use this subboard state uh, and turn it back around against her. It looks like he has an L set up here with his yellow if he finds it, and he does, and makes a triple out of it to boot. Oh, I like that, um, oh, wow. that play from Noizel just setting up, and here's a combo that she's gonna take. And then clearing out for um, for some other just drop clears and basically a clean board on her side right now. Wow, well, that placement on the uh, the right is very scary. Oh boy, yeah, I think that was a misdrop, so she clears it out underneath to sort of try to salvage that as best as she can. Mm -hmm. Going for some kind of horizontal setup now, I think. Uh, on the right side, but that red in column 5 is going to be problematic for that. He is, Art. like, sw swinging oh. these pills all across her board. It's- wow, that's exactly- oh my god, that beautiful combo! Into a T, and now her board is looking great all of a sudden. It's, it's amazing to see just the, the momentum swing back and forth. I think it's just sort of inherent to how the game plays, uh, where if both players are equally matched, uh, when one pulls ahead, the other one gets the ammo they need to, to come back and start firing combos back the other way. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been really interesting to see that in this game as well. Wow, look at this T setup from Noizel, and she's going to take this drop clear first, but now the T setup that I saw is blocked by some trash from Luke. And this yellow will not make it any easier to access. She may have to abandon it at this point. Luke was up at the top of the board, though, and that was super scary. But again, he he seems to be comfortable right up top there. And just firing off some quick combos, trying to get this back. He's still finding setups, uh, which is exactly what he needs. But Noizel is going to begin the stun lock once again. Finally, he's let out and is allowed to make a combo. But... He's quite far behind. He's got to find some, uh, some a big stun lock here, or something to, uh, to sort of come back here. And Noah's will taking the uh, break from the trash that Luke was sending in order to and just. <laughs> this might be it. This might be the stun lock he needs. Wow. Still has one more combo to find another one. I do not think he's gonna get there. And uh, Noizel quickly fires a double to try to end the madness. <laughs> uh, virus count in Noizel's favor, but honestly, the board health is already starting to look like it's turning around here. Although this garbage might change things. <laughs> this is just wild. He has only been needing two pills in, th in order to set up and, and throw over a combo to um, Luke's side. And that's just insane. A Stun combo lock begins again! Pills. She's gonna get one pill before she gets even more garbage, which might even be more damaging. And the momentum swings again. Oh my goodness, suddenly Luca's board is looking very nice. And yes, a very even, uh, even board at that, so... Okay, Noizel finds a triple. Not find what she needs to get the setup she has going. Oh, my that's God. not gonna crowd a big combo either. And now, suddenly, she's at the top of the screen and she's being stun locked. She may have a setup here and she gets it just in time before the next garbage falls. But the speeds are just increasing as we see here. And uh, with her being a. <laughs> now they're both comboing at the top of the board! This is incredible! If her being a one com uh, one directional flipper, which we've uh, uh, you know brought up before, she's just I mean she's gonna have 
less and less time to actually make anything happen here, but I love I love what she has and she's thinking through. Look at this car. What a Get slug fest. Up. Both of these players' speeds are going to start climbing astronomically playing at the top of the board like this, and they both just keep going. They Neither of them are breaking pace here. This is madness. Nozzle does not want to lose here. Okay, I Man. see... I don't... I don't think she has any really good setups right now. And even that oh. clear that... I think that was perhaps a mistake on her part. And that might be the blink that uh, Luke needs to close this out. Wow. She will find a drop to me, though. Luke may be at the point now on his board where he can start to think about his endgame again. I don't know if he's even <laughs> in a position to be doing that, unless uh, Noizel will send more garbage his way, but uh, he's going to have to start thinking about it eventually. Noizel, however, still about halfway up the screen here. Yeah, and clearing combos, but not and not getting anywhere close to their viruses. Mm -hmm. So and and Luke's gonna take oh, a three in the center of his board here. I think he may have misdropped on column four, but uh, he's doing the best he can to make it work. But Nawizzle might take advantage of that and start sending even more garbage. Two amazing pieces of yellow garbage in Nawizzle's favor, and another oh! the stagger proving to be even better than the stun lock. The staircase that she's sending of trash, but look at this! Another uh, triple! Oh my goodness! Oh, but another block by Noizzle! Luke is gonna find a combo here, but these- oh, this blue is exposed, and it's gonna be blocked immediately oh, as I say that! <laughs> Commentator's curse! Yeah, I'm blaming you on that, <laughs> love. <laughs> uh, now Noizzle is beginning to clear some viruses, those- Three in the bottom right corner, though, are going to be an issue for her. They are almost completely buried down there. Those two reds, at this point, I think are going to have to be cleared horizontally, which is going to be slow, but she's just going to keep the virus come- the, vi or the garbage is coming to make up for that. Wow! This is some incredible play out of Noizel. And I, I already can see what she's going for, and she's just using the other, the whole other half of her board. Oh wow, and she, she's gonna get oh, under these this. reds now, and she is almost free and clear. She's like, one more combo for good measure. And she's gonna have to hit this flip, us. and if she can hit this, this will be game for Noizzle. And she does. Oh, that was a tight Let's moment. Go. Game four, here we go. Noizzle, that was just the beginning of her comeback arc here. Let's let's see if we bring this to a uh, a five game series instead of just you know three crowns and and winning. So oh. this is unfortunate blue garbage Luke. for Luke. Oh, but oh, and it clears help. off his oh, L no, opportunity. He's gonna block off his column instead. Oh, this is a I, scary I think... moment for Luke. Oh, he's gonna need I think some horizontal opportunity at this point. Mhm. Mm oh, he missed the tuck I think there. He might have a little bit of nerves going on right now. He might, and this garbage is not going to help matters. And another big triple coming at the worst possible time! I don't see how he so gets bad. through this. He can he can stall for a little while, but I don't think he can get anything. He can make a little horizontal here, bring us down a little bit. Maybe a T. Let's see if- No, oh, the T nope. is blocked. Yep. More garbage. It doesn't block off anything. That's going to be a top. Wow, we are going to game- Five. This is incredible. Is Luke going to be able to do this? It was shot after shot, like, of trash sending over. Oh my god. Well, they're both dear. taking different approaches to the opening, and Noizel's going to get the first blood here, and she's going to follow that up shortly after. Oh no, and it's going to keep coming. Wow, and it just keeps blocking. Oh, Luke's pace is sli uh, sl slightly slowed as he's trying to figure out what's going on here, and how he's going to get out of this. Oh, this is not good. Noizel is just going crazy. That garbage is going to open up his left side a little bit, but... Uh, oh, I think he has to try to get these ye this yellow... Oh, no, he does not take the L here. 
in the, on the left side. But he finds another L on the right, which is actually gonna Beautiful. really open things up. And he's he's back in this, but Noizel is uh, starting to make her way down her board. Definitely not an insurmountable uh, advantage, but one you would you wouldn't shake a stick at for sure. Right. Yeah, you could see the the very the slowdown that Luke was having to do because. Every time he he made a decision, something else would get in the way. Yeah. And, but right now, this is a beautiful play by Luke. And look at this. He can follow up with another drop clear with these reds if he gets the pills to cooperate, which he does. Beautiful. Wow, a fancy little flip there to make sure he clears those blues in the direction he wanted. Uh, Noizel's starting to climb up the board again with the setup she's been making. She needs some yellow here. Yeah, she's gonna take safe user yellow and break up the setup a little bit just to take things down. The last thing you want here is to uh, put yourself in a bad spot and let Luke turn things around here. Oh, and also shout out to Tay Man. Thank you so much for the raid here. Um, stay tuned for some amazing matches. Well, we're in the middle of one right now, so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's gonna get a sweet. Oh, this is gonna be a chunky, chunky L here for Noizel, and now her center is gonna open up, turning things around yet again. Going for a yellow horizontal opportunity in the center now with that last bill placement. Looking for yellows, but making a double red uh, clear at the top. Um, gonna get combo ready, I think. Nope, just gonna take an easy double and break the setup instead. Perfectly fine. Uh, but and I like what Luke is setting up for here with, um, oh, got a little bit of trash to not get the full thing, but look, he's going to take this uh, yellow horizontally and set up for another horizontal clear. Oh, wow. And uh, Noizel going to do a nice cross followed up by a double. Luke's got a very open center, but his ledges are so high, any garbage he gets is going to cause a massive amount of drop time. It's going to be very easy for Noizel to stun lock. And now that her board is starting to look much cleaner, that's a very dangerous position for Luke to be in. And still more garbage coming for Luke. Yeah, I think he's going to... I don't know, this is not a great spot for Luke to be in. His ledges are completely mm -hmm. full. I think he, re he understands that he's going for some horizontal opportunities, but uh, if the board fills up on him here, then he's going to have no room left to maneuver, whereas Noizel has all the space in the world. But he's still finding setups. He's still trying to find a way out of this. Yeah, but right now... You know, every time he, he gets a little inch, then it gets covered right back up. He, was, he's, he came so close, he's, he's been on the, ta the edge of victory for three whole games, and he, <laughs> he just does not want to give up. And I can't blame him, I don't even think he uh, is necessarily out of this game at this point. You can just get a yeah, good stun lock going, that's all that it takes. He's clawing back here, he knows this is... This is his match to lose right here. <laughs> Noizel finding a double to get a little foothold here and stop the onslaught. Uh, but she's she's just looking so good right now. I don't think uh, I don't think she's uh, she's planning on losing with this game. <laughs> Luke trying to maintain those yellows, probably to, uh, maybe horizontal that uh, yellow in column one, but ended up having to forgo that. But look at this oh, clear. Nice from Beautiful. Luke. The nice thing about any any uh, setup or combo that he makes is that uh, it's not going to have very much drop time, uh, no matter where on his board he sets it up. But it was going to fire back with a quad of her own. It's incredible. That was more than a quad that had like six. <laughs> six <laughs> <laughs> but of course, it only sends over four pieces of trash at any given time. A little bit of overkill doesn't hurt anybody, except the opponent, right? If only there was a way. <laughs> and, uh, I, Luke is still pressing on. Noizel still has to clear her last nine viruses Ooh. to take this out and make that eight. Um, her board is looking pretty good, especially after this quad. Oh no, I don't know if Luke can find anything here. Things are starting to really pile up. 
Yeah, I think... Oh, you uh, hate to see it, but I think this could oh, be the end here, and it yep. is. That is going to be GG's. No Izzle takes it in five games, completing a reverse sweep. Unbelievable. Wow. Uh, I... I mean, Luke is not out of the tournament yet. He is still now going to compete in the loser's bracket against uh, my my wonderful commentator here in the next uh, in the next oh, match. Oh, that's me. That is oh, you. No. Yeah, good luck. That's what you have to play now. Uh, and if you Thank win, you, you have to play the other me. one. So, <laughs> Thank you for letting me commentate. I really appreciate it. And everybody stay tuned. I'm going to try and make it a great match. And so will Luke, I'm sure. Absolutely. Up next, we're going to have Betty versus Luke. Stay tuned, everyone. And we'll see you in just a moment. 